What if you could feel better in just one minute? That is the promise of a new technique called One Minute Healing, or the PAWS, that's P-A-W-S, technique. My name is Dr. Randolph Wolf Shippon. I am a licensed psychologist in the state of New Jersey and the developer and lead researcher of the One Minute Healing Technique. In just one minute, you will learn the One Minute Healing Technique. Are you ready? Here we go. All human suffering falls into one or more of the following categories, pain, anger, worry, or sadness. The first letter of pain, anger, worry, or sadness spells the word pause, like the pause of a cat or a dog. A word that sounds just like those pause is pause, P-A-U-S-E, which is exactly what you have to do when you feel pain, anger, worry, or sadness. It sounds the same, and it's telling you what to do. Take a one minute break. The one minute healing technique or pause technique asks you to do a simple thing to start. Rate the problem you are having in terms of the main effect, whether it's pain, anger, worry, or sadness. Are you ready to learn the technique? Great, let's get started. Right now, Bring to mind a situation that causes you pain, anger, worry, or sadness. Got it? Good. Now rate your pain, anger, worry, or sadness from 0 to 10, 10 being the highest, in terms of what you feel right now. Do you have your number? Excellent. The next step is to raise your eyebrows quickly three times and then smile. Do that now. Raise your eyebrows three times and then smile. Done? Okay. Now make a paw with your right hand by putting all your fingers and your thumb together in a flat-handed position and place it over your right eye so that your fingertips are on your forehead. Next, say out loud one or two words describing something you are grateful for. I'll give you a few seconds to nail this down. What is one thing that you are especially thankful for, large or small? Once done with that, now move your right paw to the side of your face along your jawline and cheek and say out loud one or two words about another thing for which you are grateful. It can be big or small, major or minor. Finally, put your right paw over your heart. Say one thing to which you are looking forward to or for which you plan to be grateful. Now, take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Tune in to your pain anger, worry, or sadness level, and notice what happened to the number, measuring the distress from 0 to 10. Did it drop? If it did, you are like most people. Repeat this technique from the right hand over the eye position until the number is 0, or you get the same number three times. Rewind this video and go over the technique until you have memorized it. Now, let me explain the theory of how this technique works. Raising your eyebrows three times breaks the affective or emotional muscular pattern we get on our faces when we are distressed. Smiling does the same thing. Our muscle movements on our face can actually help dictate how we feel. That is why even a forced smile is better than none at all, even when you are under stress. Putting your right paw over your right eye accomplishes three goals. It blinds the right visual field, which is connected to the story part of the left brain, 
and provides an altered touch stimulus to that part of the brain as well. This gets the mind ready to literally see the situation a different way and create a different story of you and yourself and the situation. While that is happening, acupressure points are activated that are known to cause a significant drop in blood cortisol, which is the stress hormone. Finally, while doing that, you are saying something you are grateful for. Gratitude is known by psychologists to be incompatible with negative emotionality, including anger, worry, and sadness. You cannot feel those negative things and feel grateful at the same time. Putting your right paw on the side of your face also activates acupressure points that reduce cortisol levels. It is also universally associated with being cared for, the way that a child's face is held or caressed by a parent. In this position, gratitude is used, again, to compete with the negative emotionality as described in the last position. Finally, putting your right paw over your heart accomplishes several goals. First, putting your hand in this position releases oxytocin, the calming and bonding hormone. Secondly, you are stating a thing that you are planning to go well. In other words, you're taking a positive outlook when you could previously only come up with negative ones. You are also using an emblematic symbol of pledging allegiance or swearing a promise by putting your right hand in that position. In this case, your body understands that you are not only talking about something positive in the future, but you are promising to make it happen. All these elements combined in less than one minute are greater than the sum of the parts. Most people cannot help but feel better, less stress, calmer, and more connected to positive outlook, as our preliminary research has shown us. After several passes of this technique, people almost universally feel better with each pass. We would love to hear your feedback about this technique as our research is continuing. Please visit OneMinuteHealing.com, that's the numeral one, MinuteHealing.com, for your anonymous research contribution. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are so honored by your taking the time to learn this technique and hope you will share it by showing yourself practicing the technique using the hashtag PauseHealer on social media. Have a great day and talk to you soon.